Hey, what's going on guys? I'm out here working on the ABA Mark II swap. Just wanted to do a quick update on what I've been doing and uh, let you guys know that I'm getting a little bit closer to uh, getting the engine out. I did, I did get it all unbolted, um, dropped the linkage. Uh, I got the subframe completely undone from the car. It's, it's just, it's hanging here with me on the hoist. I'm gonna steal the brakes. Um, they, they bolt right up to the Mark II. I, I, uh, actually already did one side of wheel bearing went out and, um, on the opposite side here and decided it'd just be easier to steal the whole brake. Here's the old <laughs> Mark II brake and spindle. Yeah, I took the whole spindle um, instead of replacing the wheel bearing. Anyway, um, so where I'm at now, um, I'm trying to get the engine out. It's ready to come on out. I um, decided that I am going to be piggybacking the EC or excuse me the the CE2 to CE1 so what that means is I'll be running the engine on the CE2 uh, fuse block and then the rest of the car will be running on the CE1 uh, my understanding is it's an easier route to take but I've also read it's the wrong way to do it but in my opinion if it works it works um and if it's easier i'll take it I'm not you know i'm not getting paid a premium so um yeah so i didn't find a lot of uh information on doing that job i uh, had to do a lot of digging i saw like bits and pieces of like people saying that they've that they did it and it was way easy um but yeah it was it was a struggle to find information on how to do it so maybe i can you know put some info once i finish once i finish it and actually know <laughs> what i'm talking about maybe i could put uh some information out there that's easier to find because it was kind of a nightmare finding the information on how to do it i could also um put a link to where i ended up finding it after hours but um yeah i spent all last night trying to find that info so i thought maybe it might be useful to someone out there one day um so where i'm at with a harness um good question i i don't have a ton of experience working with these harnesses um i know i don't need a lot of it um the cabin harness i do not need i but i don't i don't really know what to do about it i it's all taped together i could untape it i guess i mean that's definitely an option i guess i should just do that huh <laughs> But yeah, I'm sure I'll figure it out by the end of the day. I'm just going to be out here working on it till you know, the evening. Sorry, it starts getting cold um, and dark. So, yeah, I think that pretty much covers what I wanted to say. Um, thanks again for watching. I'll, I'll catch you guys next time. Later.